Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, we're back at Port Last here in the barracks here and let's uh yeah, let's hand over the uh, journal I to Linu. That you would return hey there, dear. What can I do for you? And as you can see with that little level up that I got, you can actually tell your henchmen to level up as well, so I'll do that afterwards though. Talk, uh, story. I found this journal, it has your husband's name on it. That's it. Oh, oh synth, my beloved. You really are gone then. I thought it would be easier than this. I knew he was, but it still hurts. Oh, Kel Davis, it's all my fault. You must leave me before my bad luck kills you, too. It wasn't your fault, Linu. I'm not gonna leave you. Oh, Kel Davis, I, I wish that I could believe. I don't know what I wish. I just need some time, but thank you for your words. Thank you, Kel. You have proven to be a true friend once again. My heart will heal in time. I must tell you something. As our friendship grows, so will the power of the pendant I gave you. I think you shall. I think that you shall find it is stronger now than it was before. That is a wonderful gift, Linu. Thank you. It is little in comparison to what you have done for me, but I do appreciate it, and you have my friendship and admiration as well. Now let us go and bring those responsible for the plague to justice. And there we go. All right, let's tell them to level up. And then Sharwin as well. I suspected you'd show up here soon. Yes. Level up. They don't get any like uh, new clothes or anything like that, but it's uh, they can still be more powerful. I figured they'd drag your carcass back here. Eh? Level up. <coughs> uh, Daylin. I've been waiting. Yes. Level up. Grimna. I have been. Is there some? Level up. And then Buddy Nark. You're back, so you must need. Yes, yes, yes. Is there something? Level up. All right, let's take a look at that pendant now. What did she do to it? Plus three. Yeah, just plus three to dexterity. So I won't have use of that for a little while. So let's put it back in the, the uh, bag there. All right. So yeah, obviously I sold off of Max's equipment uh, and actually decided to hang on to this stuff just because one, you can't sell it, and two, I couldn't sell the fire opal either. So. Uh, with that amount of stuff based around the same thing, I'm actually thinking I'm thinking he might actually need this for the story coming up, so or at least sometime in the future. So I'm gonna hold on to that, and it's probably not that heavy anyway. It just takes up a lot of room. But uh, all right, so as promised uh, last episode, I will be going after Brother Taurus today. So uh, let's see. Uh, do I need to buy anything like potions or anything? No, I think I should be fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave Port Last, head north. And I'll meet you uh, just outside the Green Griffin Inn, so we can head back down to the graveyard and uh, see if I can actually take down Brother Taurus. Alrighty, we're back in familiar territory here. <laughs> Alright, so in my previous playthrough of this uh, battle up here, he didn't do much in terms of, uh, you know, casting his annoying spells, but I don't think they'd matter anyway. But, uh, yeah, I managed to defeat him, so this could actually still be quite a bit quite a bit of a dry run, just because of uh, the fact that he didn't put up a, a big fight, but, uh, eh, maybe it'll be a little more interesting for you guys to watch anyway. And hopefully I get the same treasure I got from it. <laughs> if I don't, I'm gonna be very, very depressed, but, alright, let's go down here. Take care of him. Uh. But, yeah, if I manage to get that treasure again, I will not need to buy another weapon for the rest of the, uh, the, uh, this game this camping, because it will be another Kukri. <laughs> but, uh, oh well, whether I get it or not, the experience is going to be well worth it. Now, what I actually plan to do with this battle, just to maximize my chances of killing him again, is to you know, watch over the traps that you didn't set off the first time. Uh, I'm actually going to lead all, all of the undead out from this room here, and then I'll go after him when he's by himself, so let's see what we got here. You guys here. He's up there, and you got all the undead around here. There we go, got the attention of all of them. Let's go down here. There we go. Your end. There. Yeah, the mage will come to you with that. He's uh, done casting his spells there. Let's back up a bit more. I don't want. I just don't want him to come and do uh, partake in the activities here yet. Yeah. 
So yeah, I am going to be taking down a class rating 27 Lich at level 11 <laughs> of this build. What am I going to use to buff up? How about nothing? Because that's how I beat him the first time, if you can believe it, but yes. Alright, all the undead are gone, so let's see how much experience you get for this guy. Bring it, brother. There he is. Holy crap, he didn't even get his uh, stone, skin, stone skin up. <laughs> You're not gonna stun me. What did that do again? Attack decrease, damage decrease. Meh. Ah, there's the stone skin. My damage is still getting through, though. And he's dead. 600 experience. Oh, yeah. Very much worth it. Don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> it's really gonna speed up. Hey, the MS Garin Tome of Life. Now, let's take a look at it. This heavy and tethered tome is labeled with a large and ancient rune that translates simply to life. Among its more interesting passages is the following. By using an Endure Element spell to protect their essences, a Fenberry and a Quartz Crystal can be combined. The powerful magical, magical energy that results from their union can then be used to craft a magical ring. And yes, if you are a mage or somebody that has those spells, you can actually make those. That is an actual recipe you can use, so give it a shot. Let me know what you get. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just bash this open. This one has a, uh, a negative energy trap on it that quite often inflicts level drain, so... Grab this stuff first. Come on, kukri kukri. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, well. Hopefully I'll get it eventually. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we got, uh, a shield here. Let's see if it's anything special. But yeah, the Kukri I was hoping for is the Neverwinter Kukri. <sighs> Another plus two modifier on it, and it's got... It, it gives a boost to your fortitude as well. But, alright, what do we got here? The Mirror Shield. Wow, nice. Too bad I don't use shields. That'll probably give me a nice pretty penny, though. Alright, let's put that there, put that there, and get this all sorted out again. Yeesh. So messy. Filthy. Uh, okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Yeah, let's head back to the uh, the caretaker and uh, see if he has any thoughts on this tome here that he uh, Freudian slipped to me. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, head back to the Temple of Tear to get healed up, sell off the stuff that I don't care about, and uh, yeah, return the tomb, the the, <laughs> the tomb, the tome to Altura, or I guess not really return it, but give it to her, and see what we can get in return. I wonder if the t caretaker will give us anything. Doubt it, though. Guy's like... Complete loner. What would he have if nobody ever gives it to him, you know? That sounded dirty, but... True, nonetheless. <laughs> true in both senses of the expression. <laughs> Alright. Good day. I've got work to do, especially with you messing up my grounds. Leave me be, damn it. Uh, what do you know about this tomb? This tome I found in the tomb. Hmm. So that's what Grandpappy was talking about, was he? Just looks like a tattered old cookbook to me. Smells like an old sock to boot. I don't know nothing that would help you out. Why don't you go find that woman that was asking all them questions about it? Eltora, she said her name was from Port Last. Or burn it, or donate it, donate it to some school where young and wizards like to poke their tiny noses into places they don't belong. I have me graveyard to take care of. Oh, damn it. Off you go. Hmm, okay. Rude. Fine. See ya. Now, right, let's uh, get healed. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's sell this stuff. Alright. Whoa, 7,000 gold. <laughs> wow. Well, let's move this down there. Alrighty, let's go give it to Altura. I'm depressed now. Damn it, I didn't get the Q-Cree again. 
Oh, uh, well, I guess technically I could abuse it, you know, save it uh, before I go into that battle every single time and then, uh, you know, keep going until I get it again, but the number of items I can spawn in there, just, uh, I'd probably be there for an eternity. Oh, uh, let's talk to Altura. I might be able to get it later on. Well, hello. Have you exciting news for me, or is this just a routine visit? Either way, I'm pleased to see you again. Well, isn't that nice? I have one of the tomes you seek. That is most excellent news. Please let me see what you have. Oh, this is so very exciting. The Tome of Life. Oh, this shall be an exciting tome to page through, I would say. This makes me happy indeed. And for you... Alright. This should keep you quite happy indeed, I would think. Don't you? Now tell me what else I might do for you. Surely you can provide me with more than that. The tomes might are rare, but I cannot afford to give away all that I have for them. Be happy with what I have given you. Alright, well, let's take a look at uh, what she's got. Uh, I can see your merchandise. Yes, I have one, and let's give her the fire beetle's belly. It's taking up the most room. Alright, what do we got here? Guiding light. Hey, you can get a golden circlet from it. Holy jeez, I'm glad I found it. <laughs> Alright, uh... Nice stuff. Wow. Uh, what about weapons? Nah, nothing worth it. Uh, just to get somewhere else I can go for potions. Uh, what's this? Control plus two. I'll wait until I find it. Not worth spending money on. And alright. Alright. Alright, so there's uh, the first tome. I think we have four more to go, so I guess we'll have to keep keep our eyes open for that. And, uh, and in the meantime, I guess we better try and find some more information about the cult. And we didn't find anything on the East Road, so I guess we'll have to go a bit deeper into the Neverwinter Woods. Next time, this is Sirik1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.